Hi, everyone. I'm Eva. One day I came down to have dinner with my parents and was surprised to see a huge pizza on the table. They were having chicken and veggies. Mom, why am I having pizza? I asked. My mom put on a fake <laughs> smile and said, I thought you liked pizza. When I said, Mom, I like pizza, but you realize I've already had it three times this week, right? She said, Eva, please stop complaining and start eating. I have french fries and a chocolate donut for you too. <laughs> My dad saw that I wasn't thrilled and laughed saying, Eva, this is every kid's dream. Your mom is letting you have all your favorite foods because she loves you so much. Enjoy it. I was still confused after dinner. I said to myself, pizza, french fries, and donuts? Mom used to never let me eat these things because they're unhealthy. Why is she pushing them on me now? Something's not right. And the second I said it, a light bulb went off in my head. Pizza, french fries, and donuts have one thing in common. All three of them are extremely high calorie foods. My mom was making me eat them because she wanted me to gain weight. And unfortunately, I knew exactly why. In order for you to understand this better, I have to tell you two things that happened to me recently. I have a friend whose father owns a famous clothing brand. He met my dad at a PTA meeting at school. Eva is much prettier than the models we work with. Once she gets a little older, I want her to model for our advertising campaigns, he said. A few years later, he did call my dad. We are doing a photo shoot for our new t-shirt collection. We'd like to work with Eva. She'll make good money, he told him. When my dad told me about it that night, I was so excited. <laughs> to be honest, my friends often tell me I'm really pretty. They say, Eva, you look like a model. You can totally pursue a career in modeling. It's obviously super nice to hear such things, but they are my friends. I always thought they're just being nice, but this time I had a real shot at modeling. This was a great opportunity for me. But my mom wouldn't hear of it, saying, you need to go to school. You have no time for this stuff. I said, mom, the shoot is over the weekend. It's not going to affect my school. But she came up with other excuses. No matter how hard I tried, I couldn't convince her. We argued all night. In the end, I couldn't make it to the photo shoot because my mom didn't let me. A couple of days later, I came home from school and found my mom in my room. She had taken all of my clothes out of my closet. She was putting them in cardboard boxes. Mom, what are you doing? I asked. She said, you're all grown up now. These are childish clothes. I'll help you change your style. I looked into one of the boxes. I said, mom, these are my favorite clothes. Everyone tells me how great I look in these. I don't want to change my style. She said, Eva, please stop being so difficult. Let's go get some better clothes for you and dragged me out to go shopping with her. I was so shocked when I saw the store she was taking me to. I knew this place because my grandmother bought most of her clothes there. Even my mom wouldn't wear anything from this store. The sales attendant was surprised when my mom said we were there to shop for me. My mom made me try on a few <laughs> outfits and ended up buying three dresses, three pairs of pants, and two tops, none of which I wanted. She was saying my style was too childish, but these clothes were for old ladies. Even though I didn't quite get why my mom was doing all this to me, I thought there had to be a good reason for it. But no matter how hard I thought about it, I couldn't come up with anything that made sense. On top of this, she also tried to force feed me all those high calorie foods. Only after I put the two together, I began to see why my mom was acting this way. This is really difficult for me to say, but it seemed like my mom was jealous of me. I think her emotions got the better of her after I got that modeling job offer. This was why she didn't let me do the photo shoot. But she's my mother. She was supposed to be proud of me, not jealous. This was really hard to digest. Just to be sure, I did a quick Google search and saw that unfortunately, it was pretty common for mothers to be jealous of their daughters. After that day, my mom was in a secret competition with me. She started changing her hairstyle every week. She was buying new clothes for herself all the time, and they looked very much like my old clothes, which she had called childish. She used to talk about how much she was against Botox, and then she went and got Botox. She was walking around with a mirror in her hand saying she wanted to get plastic surgery. I couldn't recognize her anymore. She was acting like a teen. And why? Because she was jealous of her own daughter. My mom kept pestering me as well. For example, it actually bothered her that I didn't have pimples. She said, what kind of teenager are you? Everyone has pimples. This is not normal. And took me to the dermatologist. She told the doctor, Eva never got a single pimple. Puberty means acne, right? What can we do to help her break out? Naturally, the doctor looked at her like she was insane. What do you mean? You want your daughter to have acne? There's absolutely nothing I can do about that, she said. My mom got really upset. And I was really annoyed that my mom made the effort to do something so evil. On the way back home from the doctors, I couldn't stay quiet anymore. Mom, 
I've had a suspicion about you for some time now. I need to ask you a question, I said. My mom guessed where I was going with this. Her face turned red. She turned to me and gave me her sternest look. I ignored her and bluntly asked, Mom, are you jealous of me? She pulled the car over. She started screaming things like, what are you saying? And who do you think you are to say I'd be jealous of you? I wasn't expecting such a huge reaction. My mom yelled at me for a full hour that day. She kept saying she wasn't jealous of me, but the fact that she got so mad made it so obvious that she really was. She totally lost it when she realized I was aware of it. After that day, she stopped talking to me altogether. Huh? She wouldn't even look at me. I was trying to communicate with her, but she wouldn't even respond to me. That made me really sad. I cried in my bed at night. <laughs> I wish I weren't so pretty so I could have a normal relationship with my mom, I thought. I even wished I had pimples. One day at school, I was called to the principal's huh? office. The principal said, Eva, I have some bad news for you. Your mom fainted this morning. They took her to the emergency room. Unfortunately, she's still unconscious. Your dad gave me the hospital's address. You need to go there and handed over the piece of paper with the address. I was so shocked. I took the piece of paper and began running to the bus stop. When I rushed into my mom's hospital room, my dad got up and gave me a hug. I came up to my mom. Her eyes were closed. She couldn't hear us. It was so sad to see her in such condition. I gave her a kiss on the forehead. What's wrong with my mom, daddy? I asked. Tears started streaming down his face. Eva, your mom is not doing well. One of her kidneys stopped functioning. They need to remove it, but we don't have enough money for surgery. I wanted to get a loan from the bank, but they wouldn't give it to us because we already have other loans. I've been trying since this morning, but I couldn't come up with a solution. Your mom needs this surgery as soon as possible. We're not in a good place, honey. I panicked when I heard all this. I didn't even want to think about losing my mom. I had to stay calm. I had to come up with a solution. Suddenly, I had an idea. I got up. Dad, there's something I can do, I said, and rushed out the door. You might have guessed where I was heading. I had to get my friend's father who wanted me to model. Half an hour later, I was at my friend's house. We made it to her dad's office in 20 minutes. I couldn't do the t-shirt shoot, but if you have others coming up, I'd love to work with you, I told him <laughs> after explaining what was going on with my family. He was very sorry for my mom. We'll be doing six different campaigns in the next few months. I want to work with you on every one of them. I'm going to pay you in advance. Our modeling fees are pretty high. I think you will be able to afford your mm -hmm. mother's surgery, he said. Then he called the manager of the department that does the contracts. We signed a contract for six photo shoots. I got the payments in advance. I was so relieved. I just wanted to rush to the hospital and let my dad know. The money I made from modeling was enough to cover my mom's surgery. We even had money left over. On the day of the surgery, we were so excited. The whole thing took 10 hours. When it was done, the doctor came to speak with us. He had a concerned look on his face. After we removed the non-functional kidney, we unfortunately realized the other kidney wasn't in great shape either. So we had to remove that one as well, he said. When I heard this, I couldn't help but scream. Oh my God, how will my mom live without her kidneys? The doctor said, your mother is connected to a dialysis machine. She needs to have a kidney transplant. To do that, we need a healthy kidney that is compatible with your mother's tissue. The next morning, my dad and I got the tissue test. This was how they would determine if our kidneys were compatible. We waited anxiously until we heard the good news. My tissue was compatible with my mom's. That meant I could give her the kidney she needed. My dad and I hugged. Our life had suddenly turned upside down, but finally we could see the light at the end of the tunnel. That day, they removed one of my kidneys. Soon after, they transferred it to my mom. I was lying in bed after surgery. They brought my mom into the room. She was still under anesthesia. My kidney is inside my mom's body. I gave her life by giving my kidney, I thought, and I started crying from happiness. I was lying in one bed and my mom was in the other. She started waking up as the anesthesia wore off. She saw me in the bed next to her as soon as she opened her eyes. Hello, my darling, she said to me. Hi, mommy, I replied. A single tear came out of each of my mom's eyes. She said, I was so scared I wouldn't be able to see your beautiful face again. This was the first time my mom called me beautiful. I had promised myself I wouldn't cry if my mom got better, but I couldn't help it. We were both crying. My mom said, I'm so sorry, honey. You never deserved any of the things I did to you. I don't know if I can ever make things up to you. If I ever start behaving that way again, ask for your kidney back, she said. We both started <laughs> laughing hysterically. My dad came into the room and was surprised to see us laughing so hard. He didn't know what was so funny, but that didn't stop him from joining us.